Okay, so there's also another method, as I mentioned, which I'm going to show you now. Okay, and that method is the NCR method, which most of you probably are, is a method that you, most of you would probably be using. Most people find this easy, and this is a, it's the only method taught in the new book, actually, where, which, which I find surprising. Anyway, the NCR method is basically where you use your NCR button. So you start off, okay, with um, 10 and 0. Okay, that's going to give you the coefficient of the first term. And then you take um, the 1 and you raise it to the power of the highest power, which is 10. Okay, and then you take the next term, which is minus 1 over 8x, and you, you raise it to the power of 0. Okay, these two will always add up to 0. Then for the second term, you're going to have 10 and 1. And then you're going to have 1 to the power of, this goes down by 1 and this goes up by 1. So you have minus 1 over 8x to the power of 1. And the third term, in fact, some people prefer to do it like this when you have lots of terms, and it's probably easier. So we, we'll do it vertically. So that's the first term. The second term will be 10 and 1. And this will be 1 to the power of, um, this is 9 now. And this will be minus 1 over 8 uh, to the power of 1. Okay, and then the third term you'll have 10 and 2 and this would be 1 to the power of 8 and this would be minus 1, 1 over 8x sorry minus 1 over 8x to the power of 2 okay and the final term will be 10 and 2 and you'll have 1 to the power of 7 and you have minus 1 over 8x to the power of 3 okay this is called the NCR method and so you're going to end up with the following. So what you can use is you can use your calculator button to find the coefficients. So you're going to have 10, 1. Okay, so you press 10. And then you see this NCR button, shift, press that button, and you press 1. I know it's going to give me 1, 10, sorry. That's going to be 10. Uh, 10, 0 first, that's why. 10, 0, that's going to give me 1. Okay, I know that anyway, but just to show you. So that's going to be 1 times 1 times... 1 which is 1 okay okay that's all going to be once as we saw from the first thing and over here we're going to have 10 1 which is going to give me 10 I know it's going to give me 10 okay so that's 10 times and 1 to the power of 9 is 1 okay so you're going to have 1 times 1 sorry 10 times 1 times and you're going to have minus 1 over 8 x okay so you end up with, that simplifies to minus 5 over 4x. And the next term, you will have 10c2, so you can just change that to a 2. Okay, and you can actually put it, that's going to be 1 to the power of 8, which will also give me 1. So you'll have, um, so 10c2 will give you 45, so you have 45 times 1 times and you're going to have uh, 1 over 64 x squared so you end up with 45 over 64 whoops over 64 x squared okay now the next part you have 10 c2 okay so you could do the same thing again just go 10 c3 sorry about that it's 10 c3 be careful 10c3. So you're going to 10c3, which gives you 120. So you have a 120. Again, 1 to the power of anything is going to be 1 times, this is going to be negative still, um, 1 over 512. This is x cubed. Okay, so you end up with a negative, and you have, as we found before, 120 divided by 512 gives us 15 over 64. So you end up with minus 15 over 64 x cubed okay so that's exactly what we had before we had 1 minus 5 over 4 x plus 45 over 64 x squared minus 15 over 64 x cubed so exactly that's the answer so you have 1 minus 5 over 4 x squared plus 45 over 64 x cubed minus 15 over 64 sorry what am I doing? That's x squared, that's x cubed. That's x, that's x squared, and that's x cubed. 
minus 15 over 64 x cubed and there we have our answer okay i much prefer the first method as i said for various reasons okay because um you have no choice in p3 what you're going to do next year or p4 what i think it'll be um except to use this method because you can't use n as a fraction or negative number okay for ncr so if i try to put for example um like, like for example NCR if I try to put say 0 0.5 C and 2 for example it won't give me an answer okay so you have to use this method when it comes to P4 so get used to it from now that's what I say okay well, if you don't want to do that it's perfectly fine to use this method okay but I would strongly advise you to get used to this method okay thank you for watching